Hello there. Wow. Perfect. Wonderful. Well done. Okay. What's up, everybody? The Nintendo Beast back here in one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, Animal Crossing City Folk here on the Nintendo Wii. Let's jump in. I just felt like going through the full boot menu there a little bit, showing the title screen and hearing that theme song. I love it. It's like, oh, right in the childhood. Anyway, uh, ah, came to play, huh? Right now in Domoburg, it's 12.55 p.m. on September 13th, 2021. How about we get started? Yeah. Now, hang on. You are John? Yes, right, John. I remembered everything except the name. Wow, Rover. How dare you, man. We've been doing this back and forth for how long? Right, 20 years? Come on, man. Anyway, so John, listen, can you wait a sec while I get stuff ready? Yeah, yeah I can wait. I've got all the time in the world. Thanks for waiting. Hope you have a great time. Let's load on into Domoberg here. So somebody asked me, um... Somebody just saw a, an older video, like a really old video, before I came back when I was like, I don't know, maybe 13 years old when I started this channel, of uh, my video of how to catch an ant. And uh, they asked, I forget, I'm not, they'll leave me a comment in this video too, telling me it was them. I forget exactly who it was. Uh, one of the frequent viewers here on the channel, and they asked, uh, is this the town, is this the same town you use on your Let's Play? And the answer is yes, this is... A version I should say but this is you know my childhood town that's why my mom has uh, a house and my sister has a house here this is the town the only difference is I modded some things so it's a version of the original town but um, that you see in th those older videos but this isn't actually possible this thing that you see here my house being on this little lip on the beach here it's not actually possible so my house was actually originally back here. At least I don't think it is. Uh, my house was originally back here, but with modding, uh, I moved it onto this little area here because I thought it was cool. Um, and then I also modded all these like dirt paths. These weren't actually here. I just modded them in. Um, rather than doing like a, uh, you know, a design path. Whoops. But anyway... <laughs> Yes, the answer is yes, this is genuinely my original Animal Crossing uh, City Folk Town. This is my original save data, and uh, I modded it to some extent, and now as an adult, I'm basically working in-game to undo all of the modding that I did. So that includes landscaping, as you can see, I modded this to be a perfect town. Uh, I, don't even think it, I don't even think I reached that successfully with modding, which is embarrassing, um, but, <laughs> let me dig up a gyroid here, that's a problem, it's a problem that there's, there are weeds over here, <laughs> and I don't think I can reach them, ah, I also modded, uh, you probably saw the windmill, you get to choose one or the other in-game, uh, and I couldn't decide between the lighthouse and the windmill, so I modded to have both, um, I do have a modding, a modded video somewhere on my channel as well, I believe, where I was actually fishing from on top of the lighthouse, because there's a mod that you can run, I think using Gecko OS or something like that, uh, where you can actually run on top of the lighthouse, or you can run on top of buildings and stuff like that. So I think I cast a line out and uh, went fishing from the lighthouse and somehow actually caught a fish. I think it was like a sea bass probably, but or a horse mackerel. So I have no uh, real rhyme or reason to uh, this episode today. I'm just... So let me run to the city. Let me just chill. Run to the city quick. Pick any weeds I see. I am going to be try trying to be a little bit more active when it comes to uh, picking weeds. I should probably be a little bit more active when it comes to uh, interacting with my fellow villagers here too. But Ooh, what was that? I gotta put some of these tools away, holy crap. 
Another fossil. I'll deal with that once I go down to the museum. Uh, this Saturday is the big bug off we've all been waiting for. Get out there and catch the rarest bug you can find. Unfortunately, I will not be in town. I will not be home for the bug off this year. So, or for this month, I should say. Uh, I will be on vacation, so it is what it is. But thanks for the notice nonetheless. To the city, let's go. So I'm gonna take the bus to the city and I'm gonna see, I'm gonna check in with Red and see if he's got any fake artwork for me that he wants to sell me, I'm sure he does. Um, and then we'll go from there, I guess. Ugh, I gotta clean my Wii, Wii remote here. There's some gunk. I can't even identify the gunk on this. There's just some, some grayish brown grossness in the cracks of this Wii remote. Anyway, too much information for you guys. Uh, say there, ye look like a healthy, sturdy lad. Yar, I used to look tough myself, but the tougher I tried to look, the more I fell apart inside, you know? I mean to say, when I were young, I'd arm wrestle a bear for looking furry, but it took a toll. Water under the boat, though. The city ain't far. You need to give yourself a once-over before you go. Don't ye push yourself too hard out there with your scampering and hollering. Take care of yourself. Yo, honest to God, I've said this before, I'm pretty sure, but honest to God, Cap'n has some legit, you know, dimes of, of wisdom being dropped. Phineas is in, in the city today. I'm going to talk to Phineas because... Of course, I always do. What's up, Phineas? Why, hello there! And what can I do for you this fine day, little boy? Give me something. Okay, settle down now. I'm sure I've got just the thing for you. Now, don't be shy. Just tell me which prize you want, and it's yours. Uh... A balloon! A basic balloon? The classics are classic for a reason, aren't they? Let's see here. Nope, not that one. Aha! Here you go, Sonny! Balloons come from the sky, which is why they're always trying to get back there. Better hold on tight. That's a cute story. I should- I would tell my kids that. There's my balloon, yes! <clears throat> I was pretty sure I already had a bunny balloon. Um... So... Alright. Wait, 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 what? What is this? Nonsense? It's... Hasn't it been a week? It's been more than a week. They should... That should be replenished by now. Whatever. Okay, so I have a bunny balloon. I have a regular balloon. Uh... Other than that, this is a totally wasted trip to the city, so. Okay. Well, uh... Bye. <laughs> Take me home, country road. This is a totally wasted trip to the city. That's weird. Right? In all my time of doing weekly video, of weekly Let's Plays, I have never... It... I guess it's been just under a week, maybe, but still, like, I've never gotten to Red and found that the art was sold out. And I think that's the art that I bought last episode. I don't know. Anyway. Yar, you know what I mean. Like, celebrities on a date, celebrities doing anything at all. When you're in me line of work, passengers get to rumor in, and I get to listen in with both ears. Every now and then, I'll hear a juicy bit that might show up on one of me beloved gossip shows, you know? Yar now, Domelberg, ahoy. This be your stop, Sprat. Gar, guess I gots to wait for any good gossip. If you remember any choice bits, do an old salt a, sa a favor and give it up the next time you ride the bus. <laughs> Alrighty. Riding the bus to and fro the city uh, has always been part of, like, my favorite part. Or one of my favorite parts of this game. I don't know why. I just, I love it. Ooh, let me pick that. 
got this path here. I still have to redesign specifically this part. It's kind of ugly. Uh, okay, so let me, I guess I'll just run down to the museum now. I got... Yeah, I don't... You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try to plant some money trees. Let me sell, because I need to, I need to get rid of, um... My money. I need to burn my money. I'll explain then. Hold on. Uh, may I assist you? Blah, 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 blah. Check a fossil. So I need to... Um, I need to get rid of money because uh, somehow I modded myself to having too much money and I skipped the part of the game where you hit a certain amount of money and you get the golden shopping card. And I want the golden shopping card if I can, you know, still acquire it. So in order to do that, I have to lose money so I can hopefully drop below that threshold and then reinvest, get, and then like, you know, move through that. It's like, uh, imagine Mario Kart where people do those speed runs and you can't, there's like checkpoints along the way. So if you run off the road here and land on like at the end of the race, the game is programmed to know that you're cheating, that you skipped gates two and three to get to four. You went right from one to four. That's basically what I did with mods. I went from, you know, point A where I was underneath the threshold to point B or to point C, I should say, uh, above the threshold and I never passed through B. So what I'm thinking is if I drop below and then push back through, I'll, you know, push through that checkpoint, so to speak, and I'll get that golden shopping card. And there's no guarantee, though. I'm not 100% sure. I might have to mod <clears throat> again just to give myself the shopping card because I have the regular shopping card. But I don't have, you know, the golden shopping card. And I want the golden shopping card. I want all the golden tools. As you can see, I have the golden shovel. I have the golden axe, I have a silver slingshot, a silver watering can, and a regular fishing rod. I'm pretty sure I have a silver fishing rod somewhere. Let me run down to Brewster, try to uh, give him my... I think I have a gyroid or two, right? Yeah, I have this sputnoid, I don't know. Please store this sputnoid. Sputnoid, if I'm not a familiar... Okay, so I'm going to sell that. Hands off. Poor Brewster. Verbally abused constantly. Alright, so let me... Let me run back out here. Run back out here. So I think I'm going to... Start by selling everything that I don't need in my pockets. I probably should just, like, sell these balloons, too. Um, that way it's always new when I see Phineas. It's not like I'm doing anything with him or anything, but... Oh, well. So, sell that, sell that, sell that. That's all. 8,828 bells. Beautiful. Uh, no, nothing. Let me go upstairs and see if there's anything. I feel like I should start decorating for Halloween. Yeah, Timmy and Tommy are up here. You got any Halloween stuff? Or things that could be... Interpreted as, ha interpreted as Halloween stuff? No? Okay. So let me go... Out my way, fool. Out my way, fool! Peasant. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna run back to my. No, you know what? This is the part where I'm going to go to the bank. Every time I take money out, uh, the interest on my bank account just replenishes it right away, like at the end of the month, and boosts me back up to maximum. Oh, whoops! I don't. Yeah, see, I'm at that. I'm at that. Withdraw. 
as much money as possible. Your bells, 693,999 bells. Which leaves me with a balance of 998,089,597 bells. Thank you for stopping by. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna dump all of this, dude. Throwing away money. Literally throwing money away. Flushing it right down the crapper. Withdraw. So I guess I'm just gonna do this every episode, right? Every week I'm just gonna throw money away in the recycling bin. If that ain't a thumbnail right there. <laughs> I don't know what is. Just literally throwing money away. Okay, so let me withdraw. I'm gonna do that again. But this time it's for money trees. I made a dent, guys. Not even really. I made a, a small chip. <laughs> in my uh, in my bank account, and at the end of the month, that it, that's just gonna replenish itself basically in interest. <laughs> Get my gold axe here. So Scrooge McDuck over here, me, uh, Mr. Moneybags. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna cut all these trees down. Oh crap, I didn't mean to pick that up. I'm gonna cut all these trees down around my house and just hopefully replace them all with money trees. Money trees, perhaps, of the most highest value. This one down too. Good thing I have a golden axe. It's indestructible. Oops, still got one more. Just chopping down all these trees. Now I need my shovel. Rip up all these stumps real quick. Oops, missed. Bury that there. Bury that there. Eat that. Oops. Bury that there. This is what happens when you literally have money to burn and you have nothing to spend it on or anything like that. Okay. So I'm gonna dump this next one right here, maybe. And I don't even care. I don't even mind if these don't grow. That's the thing. I have so much money that they don't even have to grow successfully. Okay, so let me start plucking some of these fruits. I'm not going to sell them either. I'm going to eat them. Because I don't want more money. Hmm? 
that. There's that. There's that. Another peach. I'm just going to do this area, I guess. And then... You know what? I'm going to put some of this stuff away, though, I think. Like these balloons. Hold up. Next episode's going to be the, uh, the Halloween decorating episode, I think. I think this episode, we're going to spend doing this. Planting money trees. Throwing money away. Look how regal I am. Look how much money I have. Acknowledge me. <laughs> Let me see. I, do I have a silver fishing rod? I should. Put the balloon there, I guess. Silver axe. I have so much crap. I need to clean out my... I guess I don't, which is weird to me. I definitely had it at some point. So I either didn't save correctly or I dropped it or something. Maybe it's in my basement. No, I, I don't know what happened to it. I definitely had something's going on here. I must have sold it by mistake or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. So, real quick. Let me put these things up top here. I guess I could have put more away, but it's whatever. Bop, bop. Bop, bop. Bop, bop. I'm gonna put it right, like, just planting a, one of these coconut trees back. Just better placement. Alright, there we go. And we will... We'll see where I'm going to put that. Uh, make sure I got them all over here. We'll see about where I'm going to put another coconut tree on the other side. Oh my god, my pockets are, my pockets are full already. Uh, once I plant the, the money trees over here. <laughs> Let me clear out all this crap. I'll, uh, I need bigger pocket spaces. Kids these days, dude. Kids these days uh, in Animal Crossing New Horizons, they don't understand. They don't understand the trials of having to do all this with such small pocket spaces and where things don't, you know, stack. Like, you can't have a hundred weeds. A hundred weeds in your pockets would be this a hundred times over. <laughs> Y'all you know, don't understand. Y'all don't understand the trials and tribulations. Or some kind of bug. But I'm not worried about the bugs. <laughs> just eating. This entire episode is just me eating and handling money. <laughs> just a glutton. Okay. <laughs> We're like almost out of the woods here. Oh my god. Bup, ba -da -bup. Let me just dispose of these dandelions by blowing some dandelion puffs. And now let's rip up these, uh. I actually. these stumps, but I actually have to go and get more money out of the bank account <laughs> before proceeding. Bum, ba -da -bum. 
Pam pa dam pam. Pam pa dam pam. But in fairness, now that I say it, uh, in fairness, New New Horizons players, you know the people that are j the kids that are just jumping and playing New Horizons, um, they have their own trials that we didn't have to deal with in uh, in older Animal Crossing games, like the fact that tools break so quickly. In this game, and I'm pretty sure in every Animal Crossing game before New Horizons, it was only the axes that broke. So we're used to tools breaking to some extent, us older, generational uh, Animal Crossing players, but, you know, it's just the axes. The axes used to break, and then you get the silver and gold axe, and you're, you know, invincible, because they don't break. But then you got New Horizons came along, and now everything breaks. Even the gold tools. And that's just stupid and annoying. <laughs> so, you know... The youth, ha the youth of today have some trials as well, but, uh, yep, that's life. I don't have any more, oh yeah, I do. I'm gonna eat these coconuts real quick, and then I'm gonna run to the bank, get some more monies out of the bank, and then we'll plant it, and then we'll call it a day. I just want to have a money a money forest basically around uh, my house. <laughs> uh, withdraw. All right, so we can fit some more pocket, m more money in our pockets. Um, still barely making a dent though, so that's unfortunate. And there's no other way to get rid of money, really, if you think about it. You have to put it in the recycling bin. And just wait for it to be taken. That, or plant it. If you just drop it on the ground, it doesn't go anywhere, it's just there. <laughs> Until somebody picks it up. And, you know, villagers don't pick it up. Like, NPCs don't pick it up. I love this soundtrack, guys. <laughs> As you can probably tell by me. Thing around it. I could little I could literally just listen to the soundtrack for you know all day every day and I would never get tired of it. It is such an amazing soundtrack. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm done singing along to the instrumentals. Well, golly, I hope I have enough money. <laughs> I hope I don't run out. I might actually run out of bell, of bell bags, to be honest. <laughs> Any onlookers may look at this and be like, he's quite the investor burying all that money and growing money trees. That is not the truth. That is, it, This is just me trying to dispose of this money in any way I can. Bum, ba, da, bum. All right, so here's gonna be my here's my money forest. Hopefully these actually grow. I am not a hundred percent sure they will. Um, I'm hoping they do. I'm actually gonna cut down some of these coconut trees. 
There are just too many of them along the beach here. And they're kind of annoying and stupid looking. I'm gonna say, so I'm gonna chop down every other one. So I'll chop down this one as well. And then, whoops, yeah, there we go. Just beautifying my town, to be honest. And I'm gonna plant another one, like, right here. Because I care now. Before, I was just in pursuit of, like, perfect town status. Now, I actually want it to look pretty. Because I'm an adult. You know? This is, this is like, my version of maintaining the garden. Because I have an apartment, and I don't have a yard. So, like, this is my version of that. I take pride in my Animal Crossing towns and islands, okay? Alright, so that's- I think that's it. I think that's it, guys. Uh, let me eat these last coconuts. I wish there were trash- are there trash cans in this game? Where you can literally just dump money? Or dump things, I should say. Because, like, in Animal Crossing New Horizons, I know there is, obviously. It's how I dispose of flowers when I'm landscaping. But... Hold on, let me pick this, these stupid pears up. <laughs> Next episode, maybe I will... I'm gonna do some more landscaping, but maybe I'll actually talk to my neighbors a little bit. Uh, and then I also have to decorate for Halloween, because it'll be October for the next episode. But anyway... That's where I'll leave off. Hopefully this, this my beautiful money forest, uh, full of millions of millions of bells, uh, will grow properly and we'll have a nice little forest, um, behind my house. But until then, let me just... Until then, uh, I am the Nintendo Beast. If you haven't already and you love Animal Crossing as much as I do... Uh, and Nintendo games as much as I do. Make sure to subscribe to the channel here and ring that bell for notifications for when I do live streams here on the channel every month and when I upload and premiere new video content such as this, new episodes of Animal Crossing City Folk on the Nintendo Wii. Make sure to smash that like button on this video and I try my best to respond to pretty much all comments on my videos uh, unless they're like hate or rude and then I don't respond obviously but you know, I try my best to respond to all nice comments, so leave me a comment in the comment section below here on this video. Uh, but until next time, I am the Nintendo Beast. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>